Welcome to the Shift Care Learning Centre. In today's session, we're going to be taking a look at voiding invoices. So we'll cover situations where you need to void an invoice within Shift Care. We'll then take a look at voiding an invoice after it's been generated and how to void a paid invoice in Shift Care. We'll also cover how to make changes or void invoices that have already been imported into your accounting package as well. So we'll start at the beginning by uh, invoicing two shifts to start with. So we've got some shifts here for Glenn and we'll go into invoicing and generate. We'll choose our date range, which is the 13th to the 19th. This will show us the two shifts that we have here for Glenn. So what I'm going to do now is just generate the invoices for those two shifts. Once those invoices have been generated, if you go back to the scheduler, you'll notice that those shifts have now got a padlock on them and they've been marked as invoiced and they've also turned blue. When you click on the shift, you'll notice also that there is no more edit button. Uh, there's only a more actions button and the only thing you can do is delete the shift from this point in time. So the shift is completely locked. Uh, you're unable to change any of the hours, uh, any of the carer information or client details. So the shift has been completely locked now that the invoice has been created. So if you wanted to make any changes to the shift or changes to the invoice, you'd actually have to go into the invoices list on the left hand side here. This will take you to the current invoice page and you can see that invoice that's been generated uh, just before for Glenn. If we click on that invoice, it will take us to the invoice page and we can view the invoice in shift care directly. You'll also notice that you can't edit an invoice in Shift Care. Once an invoice has been generated, it's, it's locked. So it's locked to the shift and it's also locked at the invoice level. The only thing you can do at this point in time is edit the description of the shift and who you're going to be billing. So you can change the client billing information if you wanted to bill to somebody else. So you can only change the description and the billing contact. Everything else is locked, the quantity, the rate, uh, the costs and totals. So we have a lot of questions about people wanting to edit their actual invoices after they've been generated and unfortunately the only way you can go about that is to actually void the invoice. Because uh, as I mentioned before the actual shift has been locked so we can't edit the shift and we can't edit the invoice at this point. So in order to uh, make changes to this invoice what we need to do is void the invoice. Click OK. Now, if we go back to the scheduler, you'll notice that those shifts have now been uh, unvoided and the padlock will have disappeared from the shifts and we can now go in and edit the shifts. So you might need to change the time, uh, the time might have been incorrect, uh, the carer information might have been wrong. So there might have been uh, information within the shift that, that you needed to update and edit. So once you've made those changes, <coughs> click update. We can then go back in to invoices and generate. Again, we'll choose the correct date range. Click on generate. Go back into list and that invoice has now been regenerated. And if we click on the invoice, we've now have the updated hours in the invoice that are now correct. So that's the only way that you can uh, actually edit an invoice in Shift Care. You need to void it first and go back into the shift, make modifications to the shift and then recreate the invoice. You may come across another scenario where you're actually unable to void an invoice. Now this will happen if you use Shift Care to mark the invoice as paid. So if I enter the payment amount here for the full amount and submit that, put a payment reference number in, you'll now notice that this uh, invoice over here has been marked as paid and there's no void button anymore. So now it's impossible to void the invoice and uh, as a result impossible to edit the shift. So the only way that you can now go back in and void this is to go down to the payment section and delete the payment from the invoice. So if I click on delete, it will ask me to confirm whether or not I want to delete that payment. If I click OK, that will then be updated. You'll see that the icon in the top right has been marked as unpaid and the void button is back in Shift Care. So we can now void that invoice 
and go back and modify the shifts as required and regenerate the invoice. One final thing to note is that there might be a situation where you've already exported this invoice into your accounting package and you might need to make a modification or void the invoice. In this circumstance, what you'll need to do is just make note of the invoice number, which is up the top here where it says tax invoice. You'll need to locate that uh, tax invoice number in your accounting package and completely delete it from your accounting package because what we're going to be doing is then voiding this invoice which will then uh, void this tax invoice number. We can then go and make the modifications in the schedule to adjust the shift. And when we re regenerate the shift, it's going to give us a new tax invoice number. And uh, when you download your uh, accounting reports to upload into your accounting package, that new invoice number will then be uploaded into your accounting package. So just ensure that you uh, delete the the older uh, tax invoice from your accounting package before you go and void and then regenerate a new invoice in Shipcare. We hope you enjoyed today's session on voiding invoices. For further information or assistance, you can contact us at support at shipcare.com. We've got really great online chat when you log into Shipcare and all of our help articles are available at help.shipcare.com.